Here we go. So what we want to do is show how we went from three reference scales that sounded like this. To a final core values of final composition called loss of illusion three. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for Change, Part 54, Opportune Listen. In this episode, we re-entered talking about our kite metaphor, balancing, tightening, and loosening. We were working with picture ideas to make a composition called Loss of Illusion. And we feel like three now has a nice musical balance of parts that we use these pictures to inspire us. This was dots in a crowd. And the illusion we felt was that we think we're alone when we're in the middle of a crowd, or we think we're surrounded by a crowd when we're actually alone. And then veil over woman. The veil is the illusion that gets pulled away, and then we see whatever is behind the veil, or vice versa. We also work with animations of the same. This was uh, the very first composition, which was called Loss of Illusion 1. Which is where we played the scales. And then we played the cadences. And they had a shimmer or contrabass going with them. So this was the animation that went with that first one. And you can see that we gave the shimmer contrabass its own underlying needle that kind of fanned out and spread, which again was the idea of an illusion or a illusory fog. Uh, then we went into a second version of the animation for the second version of Loss of Illusion 2. So Loss of Illusion 2, we compressed, we took the first one and we kind of sped it up. We sped it up. And we dispensed with the scales, and then over here we sped up the cadences. So the animation of that looks like this. Looks like this. could argue that visually every time that purple captain's wheel thickens up it covers up the white hexagon behind it so there's kind of a top layer and a bottom layer and finally uh, we came up with a third version of the animation loss of illusion 3 which is like this So you can see we took the two source pictures and put them into the animation then we overlaid them with the blue sprite actor and a pink sprite actor as they switched back and forth and we represented that music this way loss of illusion three we went all the way back to our source scales and generated arpeggios for each chord and picked out a representative arpeggio so if you look at two versus three there is no um there's no fast part there's no veil or covering layer but in illusion three we now have a, a veil on top like that so there's always something on top and there's always something on bottom so what we're going to do is play this final musical version for you and that shall bring us home here we go
that concludes this episode and this stream. Um, what we like about the work is kind of evolving through the three versions and the three animations and iterating with pictures and sounds. Um, it occurs to us just now, there's another uh, metaphor for the illusion by, as you notice, we sped up 2x and, and 4x here. Uh, sometimes things go so slowly you don't notice the change, but if you speed them up or, for example, in history, look back, you can say, oh, that's since 200 years ago and to 100 years ago. Um, sometimes things happen and, and we don't notice them because our perception is it's too slow. Uh, and you speed it up and you suddenly see what's happening. So our ideas for next time are to, well, basically we feel we're done with this loss of illusion. We really need to start working on our next presentation. There's some leftover video edit projects and our good old friend to be determined. Shout outs to Cruel Kitty, Jane Ziwa, Miss Cleo, and Silent Lurker. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.